We're going to talk about rebar. Let's start with footings. Uh, typically, we're looking for three foot centers, 15 M bar. Bend the bar in an L, eight inches by 30 inches. That lets you set them in the concrete, but you've got 24 inches sticking out. Wherever there's going to be a lap in rebar, you want to see two feet. So you need two feet sticking out of your footings. Uh, horizontal bar goes every other course above grade. Uh, below grade, it's every course. Uh, the vertical bar goes in each cavity below grade and then every other cavity on the above grade. The horizontal bar needs to be tacked in place with, when we just use nails into the webbing. We stagger that bar so every other course as we're going up we'll leave them two inches one side or the other. That way we're able to thread our vertical bar through that bar. We don't need to tie it, it's, it's held in place by the bar itself. If we're putting another course on top, if we're going higher, we'll want to leave that bar sticking two feet out of the, out of the wall. And that allows us to make that two foot joint that we need at every rebar splice. We generally leave all of the vertical bars until just before we're ready to pour. So all the horizontal bar goes in, it's set, we've got our levels, and then we drop in the, the last bar. It's a good idea to prep all your rebar ahead of time in terms of bending those corners. So we'll count up the number of corners that we're going to have, we'll bend all that bar. Keeping in mind too that on obtuse and, and acute angles, it, it really is handy. It gives you the same bend every time and, and you'll just speed up your labor laying that bar later. With larger span windows and doors, you're going to need to have saddles in the nexum above the door. It's just a good idea to prep those as well, bend all those saddles up and, and have them ready. There'll be a spec for that as well. It depends on the situation and, and what's being called for and how many courses a block are actually above the opening. It makes a difference. You're thinking about those lintels of concrete being a beam and that's part of what the, the uh, saddles are working for. Next we will give you the, the uh, schedule for rebar, it's telling it where it needs to be laid and, and that's part of the engineering process that, that they go through for you. It's important to follow that. It's a structurally reinforced wall that requires rebar. Uh, rebar acts as uh, really a secondary strength uh, in this concrete.